This is the new Jackie 33, and today is March 21st, 2016. This is my sixth week post-op. Okay, let me tell you about my stats. Um, on February the 8th, 2016, I had gastric bypass RNY. My highest weight in September of 2015 was 254 pounds. And my weight at surgery was 236.4. My weight last week was 219.6. My weight today is 219.2 for a loss of 0.4 pounds. Now I'm not complaining too much because I've been in a stall for two weeks. And when I, when I was gonna discuss all of this and I planned it last night, I was still in my stall and I, felt my scale hated me. So I want to tell you that story. Um, all week, I was 219.6. The scale did not budge. It didn't go up. It didn't go down. It stayed the same. And then on Saturday, it went to 219.2. So I was excited. I figured I lost my scales. Let's get the stall was over. But then when I got back on, because you know, you always have to go on two, three times, went back up to 19.6, 219.6. So I put all these things in my hands. I weighed myself down. I got back on the scale, 219.6, would not budge. Okay, I start my stall, still, my stall is still in place. I got up on Sunday. It said 18.8. .8. Now you know I was excited. Got back on the scale. You got it, 219.6. And once again, it would not budge. So I felt my scale was haunted and really hated me. But today I got on the scale and it said 219.2 .2 and it stayed there and it didn't go up and I'm so excited, 0.4 pounds, 0.04 pounds. I was never so happy to see 0.04 pounds. Well, my um, total loss since surgery is about 34 pounds. I'm gonna live, give away, I'm not gonna worry about the points. But uh, my total weight since surgery is 17.2 pounds. I'm happy with that. I'm hoping tomorrow it'll be a little bit more, a little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less. Uh, let me talk about my week. Um, it was a good week. Even though I had a stall, I, I think I am getting used to things. I have my vitamins on schedule. Very, very seldom I miss a pill or a vitamin, which is great. Um, water is okay. I started something today. <laughs> I'm always learning. So I started something today and it seems to work. So I'm, I started drinking water like immediately. Instead of waiting to after I had breakfast, I am now drinking, starting almost immediately. And as of right now, and it's like 10 o'clock, I got almost a, a cup and a half to a um, cup and three quarters of liquid down, which I normally didn't get to that to like 12, one o'clock. So this is the way to go. I'm going to start real early and hopefully I can get that water in. But I've been using that water app that I mentioned, which I told you the wrong name. It's called Water Alert, Aqua Alert, still Aqua Alert. And it's pretty good. Um, you can program it to what you want. And I tell it to tell me um, three ounces every half an hour. And it, it shows up on my, on my Kindle and lets me, it reminds me. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's not a sophisticated app, but it's cute enough and it works and it keeps me alert. Um, as far as food, I'm doing okay uh, with the food. Um, uh, I was going to call the surgeon today because I didn't think I was putting it out. Well, TMI, putting it out in, uh, not enough urine, but I think if I start this water the way I want to, that might take care of that part of the problem. As far as clothes goes, um, I put on a pair of jeans on Tuesday and by Friday, they were really baggy. Now I know you're saying, well, jeans stretch. So they probably did stretch a little, but this was so baggy that it was more than just stretching. 
or at least that's what I'm telling myself to make myself happier. You know, as, as, as talking about making myself happier, um, my goal um, is to lose um, about a hundred pounds. Um, about a, gets about 155. So I'm thinking that since I've lost 34 pounds, I'm one third there. Whatever it is to get me through my night. I know you're saying I'm making stuff up, <laughs> but it's making me happy. That's all that counts. The good news is my energy is up. I have a little more energy. I am walking outside. I finally did a little more than a mile. I was really happy with myself. Um, I am trying to get to um, a mile and a half by this week. That's what I was before the surgery. My highest... Um, my longest um, distance was two and a half miles, but then I got tendonitis and I had to stop. But I'm hoping now that I weigh less, when I increase it, I won't hurt my feet like I did before. And the best part is I got to get to that 3.1. You know what that goal is. So this week, one and a half this week. And every week I'm going to increase it. And then pretty soon I'm going to go back to my five, Couch to 5K app. But I think I better wait a little bit for that. I need to hang in there a little bit more. As far as exercising the house, um, I have exceeded those goals too. I am now doing uh, 30 minutes on the bike. I do that every day. Um, but um, I now am at 20 minutes on the elliptical. But today I am not going to exercise. I have a long day. Um, I got another quilting meeting to go to tonight. I belong to three, three quilting groups. And um, I have to go to a couple of stores. So I think I better um, preserve my energy. Uh, but... It's, but I'm, tomorrow I'll be back out there. And today's a beautiful day for walking, and I, but I don't think I will. I think tomorrow I will look for that. Um, so I think I consider that an S NSV. When I hit that one mile, considering last week I only did four blocks, that is great. Um, I'm getting ready to renew my driver's license. Now... When I renewed it last time, I looked at the pounds and I put down that I was 233 pounds. Now, when I took this license, I was 260 pounds, but I lied. And I'm going to lie again. I'm going to put down 190. And the reason why I'm going to put down 190 is because hopefully by next June, I will be 190. But if you look at my intro, you'll see that I, I'm in a... I, I want to dress that I'm a lot smaller than I am now. And that was in 2012 when I was sick. And uh, I like being 190. I was 190 for about six to eight weeks, eight, six to eight months. But then I got better and I my ulcers went away and I got healthier and I got fatter. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, so my, even though my goal, my first goal is to get to Wonderland, 199. My second and major goal is 189. I want to get down right below that 190 because that was a really good place for me to be. Um, now, I don't smoke. I don't drink. Now I don't eat. But I, Jackie Simpson, am addicted to food porn. Yes, I look at Pinterest. I look at YouTube, I look at internet, TV, I look at food nonstop. I don't even want to eat the food. I just want to look at it. And I and I, I study it and I plan all kinds of things for my husband to eat. I think I might make, I hope I don't make him fat now. He might need the gastric bypass. He's liking it because I'm making different things. Um, some I've, I've been doing a lot of crock pot meals for him because it's easy, it's healthy. And the crock pot I'm using now, we got as a wedding gift 39 years ago. I might have to get a new one. But he's he's liking all the different foods. I made, one of the things I did was um, spaghetti carbonara. Hated it. And then I made um, the three ingredient banana pancake, which Jen, on, Jen R and Y said she did a great job and she loved it. Mine sucked. And then I made um, tuna cakes, like crab cakes, but with tuna. And that was pretty good, although it's, it sit a little bit heavy in my stomach. And um, I made uh, my stuffed mushrooms, which whenever I had company, everybody requested that for hors d'oeuvres. And so I made, I knew that was going to be a good thing. 
and it's creamy with, 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 with um, cream cheese. And you see make it with bacon, but I didn't make it with bacon because I didn't think the lady, my stomach, would, would appreciate the bacon quite yet. But it was creamy and it was good. And if you want me to make that, um, show you that, I will. It's really nice and smooth. There's another one with meat, but I think at this point, the cream cheese one was the better one for me at this point. Um, and it's amazing how much I look at this food that I just don't want to eat. But I, I'm always thinking about how I'm going to prepare it, when I'm going to prepare it, what I got to buy for it. It's kind of like really crazy. Um, let's see. Uh, what else I have on my list? I have like a list of things to talk about. So I'm looking here. Um, oh, what I make with make, make my husband today was the pre chick, creamy chicken in the crock pot. And that I think I can eat because um, it's soft. And I... I put two um, ounces in my plate because um, I was hoping to get the protein, but the lady once again told me what she wanted and she only wanted an ounce. And it was good. My taste buds are off, so I'm sure it would have been better in the old days. But the lady wants what she wants. Um... I told you that I looked at everybody's videos every day and there are some things that um, makes me think about what I'm going to talk about. Um, and today I'm going to talk about um, something Lily VSG asked the members to talk about their relationships. So I'm going to talk about um, the relationship between me, myself, my husband and my children. Now I have to let you know that um, I'm new at this, so I don't have a lot of experience about it. So here we go. First, I'll go first. Um, my relationship to myself. And I find since the surgery, I am happier. And even before that, I am happier with um, myself. I'm a little more comfortable in my skin. And probably that's because I am hoping no, I know there's um, a pot of gold at, at the end of my rainbow. Um, the stall hasn't brought me down. Um, it brought my enthusiasm down a little bit, but it hasn't brought me down because I know there's a pot of gold at the end of my rainbow. As far as my kid ladies, because my, my daughters are adults, um, our roles have reversed. They are more protective and they're always watching me and always making sure that I'm okay and calling. Well, they called all the time anyway, but now they are, it's a different kind of conversation. They want to make sure that I'm safe and I'm happy. Um, they're watching me. They are always making sure that I'm okay. If I don't, if I go out and I don't call, let them know, um, um, one time they threatened to call the police to make sure that I was safe. Um, they're always watching. Um, as a, as their mother, um, I always felt it was my goal to be their role model. I know some people say role models. I felt it was my role model and I work hard to be truthful and honest. And especially through this journey, because they are taking from this journey what they need. They both are different. They have different personalities and they require different things. And I'm hoping they take from my, ex my journey the experiences they require. That's part of being a parent. And no matter how old they are, 36 and 33, um, that feeling never goes away. Always the mama. As far as my husband goes, um, he has always been supportive. Um, when, even when I was fat, he accepted me. Even when I was thin, he accepted me. I didn't have to worry that he wasn't going to accept me however I was. And in July, before July, I always thought I would be big boned. I thought I would be size 20 for the rest of my life. That's the way I was for decades. And that's the way I was. Um, 
But when the surgery came into my life, he was there a hundred percent. Um, he always let me know that I didn't have to do this. Um, and every time there was a glitch or, or, or something that went wrong, he said, he would say, you know, it's not too late to back out. You could always stop this. And I was always, would always tell him I am a hundred percent in always a hundred percent in, um, It feels good to have someone who's always in your side. Um, he loved me when I was fat. What else could I ask for? Now, to be honest, um, marriages have this ups and downs. And um, some, day, some years you have good times and then you, you gotta work through the three, four months that are bad. At this particular moment, it happens to be a good one. So because everything is good right now, this weight loss surgery is just riding the waves of the good times. But if it was a bad time, I don't know if it would be the same. I'm gonna watch this video in a year and I wanna see if things have changed. I'm really curious. I wish I had a crystal ball to look and see. But I'm going to have to look at this again and see how it is. Um, hi, I had to stop for a second. How rude. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I, what I wanted to say now is the only thing he does not understand is why I want to be on YouTube. Uh, we're not, as I said, we're not at the age of people who like to be on YouTube. And honestly, I don't understand why I want to be on YouTube. But at this point, at this time, as of today, I need the weight loss community. So thank you. As far as um, subscribers, I'm still getting new subscribers. And I, I want to thank you all. And thank my old and my new. And people who are just browsing... Um, if you got this far, thank you for getting this far and not being bored. But if you're looking, you're probably looking because um, you either just had surgery or got a, got, a, got a glare here, just got surgery or you are looking to think about getting surgery. And once again, I'm a little, a little new, a little too early for me to say, this is a great thing. You got to do it. But what I will say to you is, do your research, um, always do your research, and then look into yourself, into your soul, and make sure that you have the time and energy to do this because it does require time and energy. Um, it is work. It is not just you lose a bunch of weight. It's emotionally draining and it's um, physically draining. But the only thing I want to tell you, but in six weeks, this surgery, has been tremendous for me. In six weeks, my blood pressure has lowered. I am no longer on a CPAP machine. My ankles aren't swollen. My knees don't hurt. The reason why I got the surgery is because I thought I needed knee replacements. I don't need them anymore. It's only been six weeks. It's amazing. Um, Another, I look at myself differently. Um, you can't quantify the benefits of surgery. I mean, so for me, it's been life changing. But once again, do your research because what's good for me may not be good for you. Now, once again, I'm lecturing like Papa Pope on scandal. I got to stop that. Um, just take it because I'm old. <laughs> and let it go at that. Um, let's see. The song of the day is by Shalimar. Make that move. 1989. Make that move right now. Can't sing. Sorry. The quilt of the day. Now, you guys are the second time I'm showing this quilt. Uh, it's going to be in a book. And um, about 2014, um, I got an email from a worldwide quilter and she wanted to get together a bunch of people for her book. 
and um, we had to send three pictures of our best work to her. And she picked 75 people from around the world, Australia, England, Canada, Japan, United States. Um, I'm the only one from Delaware. And we, she gave us her idea. We had to sign a non-disclosure form that we could not tell any of uh, our quilters, our quilt stores, our friends. We couldn't share it with anybody. And she gave us a parameters of her, of her vision. And we had to create a quilt. And if she liked it, she would put it in the book. She wasn't obligated to put it in the book. But if she did like it, she would. And I did get um, the email from her about seven months ago that it would be in her book. She created two of them. One's coming out in April and one's coming out in May. My, the one technique was April, the other technique is May. My technique is May. So this is mine. Um, I hope you enjoy it. When it, the book comes out in May, or at least she announces it in April, I'll tell you the name. You probably won't be interested if you're not quilters, but I hope you like it. Well, for all those um, watching, please feel free to subscribe, like, or comment all through all three. And once again, have a great day, <clears throat> a great week, and I'll be watching your videos.